నమస్కారం భగవద్గీత ఎయిత్ చాప్టర్ సెవెంత్ శ్లోక సింద శ్లోక భగవాన్ సేజ్ దేర్ ఫోర్ ఈ స్టార్ట్స్ విత్ దేర్ ఫోర్ దేర్ ఫోర్ రిమంబర్ మీ అట్ ఆల్ టైమ్స్ అండ్ ఫైట్ విత్ యువర్ మైండ్ అండ్ ఇంటలెక్ట్ సెట్ అపాన్ మీ యూ షుడ్ యూ షెల్ ష్యూర్లీ కమ్ టు మీ సో ఈ టెల్స్ Arjuna, so you surrender your mind and intellect to me and you fight because Bhagavan is asking him to do that war. So you do that. Surrender your mind and intellect to think of me and your mind to be with me and you do your duty with your body. That is, you will surely come to me. So he is assuring that. so remember me all, all times so here he starts with therefore because he explains in the previous shlokas how your, your your devotee can remember him because that was a question asked by arjuna is it possible first so he, he the first uh, he asked about will 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 the devotee be in a condition to remember him then how will we realize you how will we remember you how we will we connect ourselves with you so the answer is given by bhagavan through sloka 5 6 and 7 so in the 5 and 6 we found bhagavan says when what the thoughts thoughts of a person at the time of death decides the next birth so we, whatever thought we have whether it's a material or whatever it is so you you become that so if you think of me you attain me that is what bhagwan says and he also says how kaivalyarthi to remember god aishwaryarthi to remember god then bhagavalla parthi to remember god so if you everyone what the whatever we expect from bhagwan is different but we are bhagwan says you associate you think of me with that you connect me with that so the next birth they will get what they want to be because they think of bhagwan at the time of death so he explained all that now he tells arjuna this is for arjuna you do your duty he says you you surrender your mind and intellect to me you think of me always at all times and you fight definitely you will come to me so that is a, that is assurance he is giving and here bhagwan is this through this shloka he reiterates karma yoga so when he asks arjuna to fight yeah, that is a swadharma of a warrior or a king to fight for establishing dharma so he has come to the war field for that so he said you think of me and you give you surrender your mind and intellect to me that means what we think of bhagwan always in our mind so that is surrendering and you do your duty because the god has given us this body to do service and what uh, what kind of service we do what the bhagwan wants us to do so actually that um, the action is done as per the wish of bhagwan only so he has given us the body so with that body we are doing that so that is why we have that body so let's have that in our mind so if you have that thought in your mind definitely you are not away from the thoughts of bhagwan the thoughts of bhagwan going on in our mind is fixed in our mind because this is a body given by god so i should do what is liked by bhagwan only so here that swadharma everyone has got the duty whether i am a doctor or an engineer or a carpenter whatever it is everyone has got the dharma that is swadharma dharma of my profession so you do it do it as per shastra so i am i am surrendering that to bhagwan i am yes i am doing because the god 
it is the order given by god that is what krishna says here so think that it is an order given by me so bhagwan has given ask me to do this work so i am doing so this is this is what karma yoga so when, when whatever we do that is offer to bhagwan and we do not have that feeling of karta that is i am the one doing i am doing so we will not have we should not have that as per karma yoga and don't expect any results from that so when you follow this when you follow karma yoga we will not be selfish at all because we i am not expecting anything from that action karma then i am not doing it is bhagavan who is doing that so i will not have any uh, i will not have any uh, uh, sort of arrogance in my mind that i yes, i am doing without me nothing will happen i will not have that feeling so it is it and i am in thoughts of bhagwan because he asked me to do so i am doing so i am doing without any expectation when you when there is no expectation there is no feel whether will i do it correctly or will i win it or will i lose it so we will not have those sorts of thinking in our mind so we are doing it peacefully because i am doing as per the wish of bhagwan that is what surrendering the mind and intellect to bhagwan so only bhagwan will be in our thoughts so what happens normal people like us this is the, here bhagwan tells arjuna but through this loka it is a message given to us so what stops us from thinking of bhagwan in everything whatever for example even for, right from the childhood the parents to teach the child yes even a small pencil uh, one pencil the child gets the child should thank god because it is because of bhagavan i got this for everything we should have the we should cultivate the uh, practice of thanking god and whatever i do it is because of god is giving me that power to do so it is only because of god so when we grow we feel that the child is brought up with this sort of training then the child will not have any arrogant the child will not be arrogant towards others because he treats everyone equally and he feels it is not me doing it is bhagwan doing and it is not mine it is bhagwan's so that the child has a um, the devils a practice of surrendering everything to bhagwan so the thought of bhagwan is always within the mind so there will not be a question will i remember god at the time of death because arjuna had that doubt bhagwan says if you think of me all times you will you will definitely remember me so this is how we should practice so the thoughts about material things thought of people around us so they stop us from thinking of bhagwan and we should analyze which is permanent and do all these materials or all the people higher than bhagwan so let let's ask that question to ourselves only bhagwan is the supreme he is the highest so let's have him in our mind and do anything so if we do the if we or if we surrender ourselves to bhagwan and if is uh, offer anything whatever we do to bhagwan our all our thoughts also to be surrendered to bhagwan then only then we can meditate on him so when we do that naturally what happens we bhagwan is in our thoughts always we are not away from bhagwan we are always with bhagwan only so this is the message we get from the, from uh, this loka so here arjuna is asked to fight that kurukshetra war so this is a message for us we also do our swadharma with the remembrance of bhagwan with the thoughts of bhagwan so that we will not do any mistake in our duty we will not misuse our power so we will not be doing anything against the welfare of the people we will not harm the people so all your good thoughts are only coming when you are think of god in whatever position we are we should when we are in thoughts of bhagwan we do only good things whether we are minister, uh, we are in the state of uh, status of ministers or 
government employees or wherever whatever we are so i because in every position we do we do contribute for the society so how do we contribute that is the challenge for us so if we have thoughts of bhagwan in our mind we do it because no other negative thoughts come to be our mind and we are not selfish so that is what bhagwan talks about karma yoga in this so it is a message for us how to think of bhagwan throughout how to practice that so here he talks about law of karma to so whatever work we do whatever action we do if it is performed with attachment it results in karmic reaction so that the birth continues for ever and if we do it without any attachment then what happens we we do not feel guilty and we don't feel guilty even in worldly loss so we are we are doing something connected to uh, the material life worldly loss but we don't feel guilty because we don't have any attachment towards what we are doing so this is how the fit is like if this is how the in olden days the ministers and the kings were very honest in their service in doing service they took care of people very well without having any selfish motives so because there was no attachment towards what they do what they possess so here this the shloka gives us and shows us way to lead a very di- uh, disciplined life because we think of god always now let's see a pasaram pasaram by tirumeshai piran so this tirumeshai uh, uh, the pasaram comes in the nangam tiruvandadi so according to this pasaram uh, uh, So according to this Pasuram, Alva says, I'm sorry, I have some disturbance there. So I could, I could not continue. Alva says, Alva says, பாசுரம் என்றும் மறந்தறியேன் என் நெஞ்சத்து நெஞ்சத்தை வைத்து நின்றும் இருந்தும் நெடுமாலை என்றும் திரு இருந்த மார்பன் சிறீதரனுக்கு ஆளாய் கரு இருந்த நாள் முதலா காப்பு mother so you you are the one who, who who is taking care of me so i am always in your thoughts and i is describing permal you are you, are, you have given the place in your chest for tirumagal and you are protecting everyone so i am very sure you will protect me too so in whatever stage of life i am going through i am always in thoughts of you and i am very sure that you take care of me and whatever i do it is because of me so there is no chance to f- forget you so i am always in your thoughts so this is a message given by alva to all the devotees all the people so let us think that the bhagwan only takes care of the baby when the child is in the womb because it is it is something uh, surprising wondering us because that the srishti the creation the baby in the uh, womb of a mother how the child gets food and everything if you think of it for a for a second you find everything is by god we say science no it is because the god is the one who created science so we learn science only from bhagwan from veda so here we find how bhagwan takes care of us right from the day we are formed so this is what uh, here tirumeshai alva says 
so it is from day one you have been taking care of me and and every stage of life i think you are the one who are bringing me up and you have given place for uh, goddess lakshmi in your chest so you are and he say you are so compassionate to her because they are said no agalagile na agalagile she doesn't want to be away from bhagwan because bhagwan whenever he takes avatar he goes away so she was she didn't want to leave bhagwan so bhagwan gave place for her bhagwan keeps her in his chest so that is what here tirma shepiran describes so you i know you are very compassionate i know you will not leave your devotee who over thinks of you so if you practice uh, having the thoughts of bhagwan right from younger days and for whatever we do we should then whatever we get we should then god whatever we do we should offer it to bhagwan so if you do that we are not away from bhagwan's thought so we will not forget chanting his name having the rupa of bhagwan in our mind at the time of death we will definitely remember him and bhagwan will take us with him because that is what we all aim at